Well, I thought since I've got nothing to lose at this point, I'll just try the Mega Drive part hooked up to the CD drive with the massive chunk out of its PCB. And good news, it works. Which is fantastic. It also shows that it's likely something wrong with the main board that's causing the tinny sound. So in order to get this to work, uh, I'll just quickly explain what I've done. So this is was the broken uh, Mega CD unit. It had no power. It's got power now and the power seems to work better than the working one. The working one is now considered broken since I can't get it to power on anymore. How ironic. Now all that I've got connected into this CD board here is the connector that runs to the Mega Drive section and one of the cables. There are three cables that connect from the unit here to this. Uh, one of them is probably the CD player part which has, uh, here it is, a whole bunch of wires to control this sort of area. Uh, the next is the Mega CD game part, from what I understand, reading what it said on the main board itself. Two CD game and two game. So the game part is the only part I've plugged in. So the main board's pretty much providing voltage, which then runs out this connector to the Mega Drive section. The Mega Drive section outputs video, sound, Actually, sound I'm not too sure about. Sound I think comes from this main board. So, there you have it. There's hope yet. So even if I don't get this section repaired 100%, I should at least get that ground fixed up. There is hope to still be able to play Mega Drive games, such as Mega Turrican. Amazing. So that's good. So it hasn't been a complete waste, except that now the other unit is dead. And I suspect the transformer is at fault, which is going to be a pain. So I guess my next step in the grand scheme of things is to pull the voltages that this transformer in here is outputting. And then build some sort of external power supply. to replace the busted one. And then fingers crossed, it'll work just as well. It might not, but not much left to lose. Thanks for watching, retrojunkie.net for more. All the latest updates, you know.